everyone understands that women have played critical roles in the life of the university. Back from the 1880s, uh, when women first joined the community uh, as students and then as faculty persons, uh, women have uh, made a dramatic difference in the life of the school, but we never have had an organization of women led by women uh, that was focused specifically on philanthropy. Philanthropy is generally thought of in terms of male and male dominance. Uh, in the past, women had not necessarily had uh, access to that much money or had decision-making power over money, or at least it was not obvious uh, to everyone that women influenced money that much. But now I think there's so many women who are in positions of influence who are financially stable and who can give. And it doesn't also mean that you've got to give an awful lot of money to be a philanthropist. The goal of the Ole Miss Women's Council for Philanthropy is literally to uh, help women see themselves as philanthropists, to understand that they can help shape the future of this university. Knowing that scholarship monies are, are literally the most important aspect of fundraising for us because it provides that next generation with that next opportunity. To the surprise of nearly everyone that we tell this uh, to, 80% uh, of the students at Ole Miss receive some sort of financial aid. And so eight out of every 10 students need some help. The reason that I was able to come to the University of Mississippi where I really wanted to go was because of the scholarships that I received. Uh, otherwise, I would not have been able to be here. Having an opportunity to provide young people scholarships to the university is very exciting to me, especially those who might not have had an opportunity to receive an education or come to the university of their choice. I don't know of a better investment in the future of this state, this institution, or our country, or this world, than telling a student who's got the capabilities to excel, we are going to support you in that effort. These extraordinary scholarships, and they're not just a regular scholarship, they're scholarships that are going to develop young men and women in cutting edge leadership training. They will be mentored through their years here at the university and ultimately they will be expected to come back and mentor and financially give to the university. I myself would have loved to have had uh, a mentor while I was here at the university. What a great thing that is, if, if the opportunity to have someone that you could have as a mentor and, and discuss issues and and choices, because there are so many opportunities for women today. Instead of a mother or a father, a mentor serves as a different role model and for different purposes, and students can grow and have a first-hand connection with that person and learn from their life's work. I think that every time you mentor, you probably get more back than you give. There's probably nothing more exciting than to see somebody flower and to open up doors for people and to help them see the possibilities that are out there. The students that will be given these scholarships will have had to have proven that they have a predisposition to leadership and we hope to nurture whatever that intangible is by giving them the best training that even corporate America has through the Lott Institute. I think one of the important things that we have to do is give people opportunities at practicing leadership. You need to find what their interest is, what their strength is, and then give them the tools. Some people confuse leadership and the act of leading. Uh, it, it, you don't necessarily have to be a leader to need leadership skills. And I think in order for us to be a productive society, everybody that we can reach needs to be a leader on some level. We are creating the leaders of, of the future here at this university as we speak. And I'm really excited about being a part of that, as are I know all of the women who are on the council right now. And we look at this council in the, in the endowed scholarships as an opportunity for women who have given unconditional love to any of us to be honored. I feel really good that we're able to do a family scholarship with my husband's family in memory of his sister and my sister-in-law, Sarah, and know that she would love this, and she's probably smiling down on us right now, so pleased that something positive is happening. Sarah had a love for life and a love for Ole Miss. My family felt very strongly that, that uh, as they moved forward, they wanted to remember Sarah in a way 
that would live forever and also assist and help other people accomplish their goals in life. My parents both were students at the university in the 30s and both of them could have used, shall we say, financial aid. And at the time, it was not available. And neither of them graduated for that reason. And so I have made a bequest that will endow a scholarship for the Women's Council. I'm a native of Oxford, Mississippi, so this is my hometown. And it was just my grandmother and me. Uh, my grandmother raised me. And my grandmother made a living by cleaning houses for the uh, students. So it was my grandmother's dream that I would get a college education and she made sacrifices for me so that I could go to school. Um, my grandmother passed away and uh, one of the ways I thought that I could honor her was by creating a scholarship. I decided to give uh, through the council and create a scholarship uh, in my name because I have uh, grown up in a very small town in Mississippi and to go from my little small town to New York City where I live has been a huge process in my life and I want to create an opportunity for many students in the future to have those roads and those opportunities. I am confident that the entire university community, faculty, staff, students and alumni would join me in expressing our profound gratitude to the women on this council for the commitments that they're making uh, to assure the success of this initiative. In the ancient cultures there was a council of women sitting in a circle where the elders would go to get that feminine energy and to get that meaning because it was known as wisdom. And it is in that collective wisdom that I think we have perhaps one of the greatest assets for the future of the University of Mississippi. What's going on here is almost miraculous. It is a true renaissance in every sense of the word. And this is the woman's moment to come into her own. But I would insist that what we do is helpful for both our sons and our daughters. We want to get men, women, women particularly who have not, again, been our traditional givers, a young, old, just the whole spectrum of people involved in giving to the university. And so there are a lot of ways to build a scholarship. A little bit at a time, put your brick in and I'll put my brick in and you know two bricks begin to build that foundation that we need. Or if your resources are such that you can do an entire scholarship, do it. I really commend those who realize the importance of education and take what they have been blessed with and give it back so that someone else maybe can receive the same blessings they have down the road. And I do believe that uh, in one's lifetime, if you made a difference in a child's life, that's one of the most important things you can do and one of the most important things that you can be remembered for. And in this case, we will all have an opportunity to make a difference in some child's life.